This is a 20 minute slow and steady flow class for that day you just need to move with your breath and hit refresh. We'll start in mountain pose at the top of the mat, creating some space in your shoulders. On an exhale, let's clasp your hands, press the palms away, let your head drop in between your arms, feel the round in the upper back. And then inhale, release the hands, bend the elbows, elbows pull back as the heart puffs forward. Again, exhale, clasp the hands, press the palms away, let the head drop in. Inhale, release the hands, bend the elbows, heart puffs forward, shoulders back. Exhale, reach the hands forward, get that stretch through the upper back, keep that engagement, but then just slowly pull the arms back into the sockets, shoulder heads back, balance shoulders, and then let the hands drop by your sides. Inhale, hands reach skyward. And then exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, let's bend your knees like you're going to sit into chair, but keep your hands on the ground or shins. And then exhale, slowly re-lengthen the legs to straight. One more time. Inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, re-straighten the legs. And then this time, Ardha Uttanasana on your inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift one more time. Long spine, shoulders moving away from the ground. And then exhale, plant the hands and let's step back to plank pose. Once you're in plank, we're going to start to find cat cow in the upper back. So we'll press the ground away, shoulder blades move away from each other as the upper back rounds, and then pull the shoulder blades toward the spine, let your heart deflate between the arms. One more time like that, a little bit of cat in the upper back, and then a little bit of cow in the upper back. And then we'll press the ground away, find that cat back. Keep that effort, but pull your sternum forward. Come forward on the tippy toes, bend the elbows, chaturanga, pausing at 90 degrees, and then inhale into a back bend of your choosing, lingering there. And when you're ready, we'll pull back into downward facing dog. And we'll settle into your down dog for a bit, moving or being still as is appropriate, but stabilize the breath and settle into this space. When you're ready, we'll inhale, bend the knees, lift your heels, look toward your hands. Exhale, jump or step. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. And then inhale, let's rise to stand. And exhale, release the hands down through center. One more round similar to that. With your inhale, we'll take your hands to the sky. Exhale, fold forward into your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, set the upper back for plank here, and then plant the hands and step back into plank. Inhale into that cat back. Exhale, deflate the chest, shoulder blades glide together. Inhale, round that upper back, keep the effort. Sternum pulls forward, come forward on the toes. Lower down chaturanga, and then inhale into your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Settling into the steady rhythm of your breath. Inhale, prepare to jump or step forward. And then exhale, move to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to stand. And exhale, release the hands. Inhale, reach the hands skyward, and then exhale, begin to slide back into chair pose. We'll begin to put the weight over into the right foot, and as slowly as you can for you, we're going to lift that left foot off the ground and stretch it back into crescent pose. Take your time. Once you're there, stack your shoulders and hands over your hips, and then exhale, lean halfway forward, reach the hands back. Stay there or step onto that right foot and come up for airplane pose and then sneak your way right back into chair pose. Exhale, fold forward over the legs, standing forward fold. And then inhale, press the ground away, halfway lift and float your left leg back, supported warrior three. From here, you can head to three-legged down dog or plant the hands, firm the arms, look forward and maybe hop that right leg back into three-legged down dog, left foot to the sky. Left knee and foot come forward between the hands and then rise up, crescent pose. Next exhale, hands come down to the ground. Look forward, keep that front knee deeply bent and slide that right leg into chair pose. Inhale, hands to the sky. 
And we're just gonna repeat that flow a couple times, no surprises. So this time we'll put the weight into the left leg. Right leg starts to stretch back nice and slow, coming into crescent. Find your stack there. And then exhale, fold halfway forward, reach the hands back. Stay here or fly, airplane pose. And then sneak nice and slowly right back into chair. Inhale, hands reach to the ceiling. And then exhale, fold forward over the legs. Inhale, halfway lift, let your right leg fly back, and then make your way into three-legged down dog, maybe planting the hands, firming the arms, and hopping back, left leg on the ground, right foot to the sky, and then step your right foot between your hands. Inhale, rise up, crescent pose. And then exhale, hands to the ground, keep that front knee bent, back flat, and sneak the left leg into chair. Inhale, hands rise. Weight comes into the right leg. Left leg slowly stretches back. Crescent pose, take your time. With your next exhale, we'll lean halfway forward. Hands reach back. Follow your breath, stay here or fly, airplane pose. And then gently and gradually, right back into chair. Exhale, fold forward over the legs, standing forward, fold, and then inhale, halfway lift, and allow your left leg to fly back. We'll journey into three-legged down dog with the left foot to the sky, maybe hopping your way there, a brief moment of handstand, and then left foot will come forward between the hands. Inhale, rise up, crescent. Exhale, hands come right on down. Get nice and low, keep that front knee bent, and glide the right leg back into chair. Rise on up, inhale, hands to the sky, Utkatasana. Weight comes into the left leg, right leg stretches back, crescent pose. With your next exhale, lean halfway forward, hands reach back. You choose whether or not you want the balance pose and airplane. And then following your breath, we'll come right back into chair pose. Exhale, fold, standing forward, fold. Weight comes into the left leg as you lift up halfway, right leg up and back, and we'll end up in three-legged down dog with the right foot to the sky. The right foot comes between the hands, rise up, crescent pose. Exhale, hands come down. Look forward, step forward, chair pose. Taking an extra breath here, then we have one more complete round through this sequence. So put the weight over into the right leg, left leg stretches back, bring it back into crescent, exhale, lean forward halfway, maybe airplane pose, maybe not, and then sneak it right back into, into chair pose. Exhale, fold forward over the legs, inhale, halfway lift, left leg reaches up and back, make your way into three-legged down dog with left foot to the sky. Follow your breath to step the left foot between your hands. Rise up, crescent pose. Exhale, hands come down. Back is long and flat. Sneak that right foot into chair pose with your left leg. And then inhale, rise on up, chair pose. Weight comes into the left leg. Right leg lifts and stretches back, finding your crescent. And then exhale, lean halfway forward. Fly to airplane if you'd like. And once again, make that sneaking journey into chair pose, nice and gradually. Exhale, fold. Inhale, right leg lifts up as the back gets long and flat, and then make your way into three-legged down dog. When you're ready, right foot comes between the hands, rise up, crescent. Exhale, hands come down to the ground and sneak the left leg into chair. Inhale, rise up, hands to the sky, long spine, and then exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, start to create plank in the upper back, and then plant the hands and step back into plank. Press into the hands, round the upper spine, keep that effort, but let the sternum pull forward. Press forward on the toes, Chaturanga. Inhale into your back bend. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts up and back. And then exhale, open your dog. So bend the knee, stack the hips. And then we'll bring the knee forward, foot forward between the hands. Ground your back heel, rise up, warrior one, Virabhadrasana one. 
Exhale, bend your elbows out to the side, and then let's cross your left arm underneath your right for eagle arms. Inhale, elbows come skyward. And then exhale, lean halfway forward. Get light on your left foot. Maybe find a moment of warrior three and bring that left leg forward and around for eagle. As slow of transitions as you can manage. Pausing here for a couple breaths. And then let's unpretzel ourselves and slowly step it back into warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Left hand down the back leg, right arm reaching. And then exhale, let's come up and over into triangle pose. Right hand wherever it's comfortable. Right leg straightening out. And then slowly slide your right hand up the shin and then slide it back down. A couple times, just a little glide up, a little glide down, tapping into the stability of your side waist, your lateral muscles. One more time. And then bend that front knee, come on up, warrior two. Windmill hands to the ground. And let's take it back into plank pose. Let's set up for a side plank on your right side. So right hand and right outer foot are your base. Left hand comes up to the sky. Modify with a kickstand or both feet on the ground as appropriate. And then let's come back through plank and set up for the other side. Left hand, left outer foot are your base. Right hand to the sky. Let's roll back through plank with your exhale and then vinyasa as you'd like, chaturanga, back bend perhaps, and we'll meet up in downward facing dog. With your next inhale, we'll take the same foot, right foot to the sky, and with your exhale, we'll come forward toward plank, knee into nose, right knee to right nose, and then right knee to right upper arm, and then across the body to the left upper arm, and then take it back up, three-legged down dog. So you're welcome to repeat that again, or bring your right knee to your right upper arm, look forward, propel forward, bend the elbows like chaturanga, maybe a little ekapada kundanyasana. And then we'll take it back into three-legged down dog when you're ready. Maybe just lower the foot and then lift the left, or look forward, a little hop switch. We'll end up with the left foot in the sky, and then bring the foot between the hands, ground the back heel, rise up, warrior one. Exhale, bend the elbows out to the side, and then we'll bring your right arm underneath your left arm for eagle arms. Inhale, elbows press skyward. And then exhale, begin to lean halfway forward, look forward, maybe a brief visit to warrior three. And then that right leg is going to wrap over the left for eagle. Settling in here for a couple breaths. Let your gaze get still. Stable breath. When you're ready, we'll unravel ourselves. Step back into warrior two. And then inhale, reverse warrior. Right hand down the back leg, left hand reaching skyward. And then we'll make that journey into triangle pose. So coming up and over with the torso. Front leg straightens. Left hand is light on the front shin. And we'll start that glide up and down a couple times again. So inhale to slide the hand up the shin. Exhale to slide it back down. You determine how deep this goes, how much range of motion you explore here following your breath. Last time here. And then we'll bend your front knee, rise up with an inhale to warrior two. Windmill hands to the ground. Step back into plank pose, setting up for side plank. So we'll start on your left side this time. So coming to the left hand, outer edge of the left foot, for side plank, maybe this time with a reach overhead, your right arm reaching toward the front of your mat, bicep beside the ear, a little extra lift of your hips if that feels nice. And then release any extra lift that you took there, come back to plank and set up for side two. Right hand, right outer foot are your base. And then taking traditional side plank, or if you want that little extra reach overhead with the additional lift of your hips, you can explore neutralize and then bring it back to plank and take a vinyasa or any transition that you're craving in this moment. Once you've settled in your down dog, let's pause and enjoy our breath for a few rounds here. And 
And with your next inhale, we'll take the left foot skyward. Roll forward to plank, knee comes into chest, and then left knee taps left upper arm, and then across to the right upper arm, and take a back three-legged down dog. So again, you can repeat that again, or this time come forward, left knee toward left upper arm, look forward, propel the heart forward, bend the elbows, chaturanga, and then ekapada kundanyasana, if you'd like. And then release, and take it back, three-legged down dog. From here, you can exhale and lower the leg, and then inhale, lift the right leg, and continue that pattern side to side, or we're gonna do some hop switches. So looking forward toward the hands, and then taking a little hop, and in the air, switching the feet so that when you land, the other foot's on the ground and the other foot's in the sky. And just do that a few times, playing nice and easily with the breath. Maybe somewhere along the way, you find a moment of handstand. And then eventually, we're going to just make our way forward into the front of the mat, right into a halfway lift and then right into a forward fold. Let yourself hang heavy here in the fold, back of the neck long, head heavy, breath steady. And then let's slowly begin to make our way down onto our shins. And we're gonna set up for camel pose. So knees below the hips. Let's take hands on your low back to start. Elbows hugged in and bent back, just like really early on in practice when we were alternating the clasp reaching forward and those elbows pulling back. You can even take the hands off the low back if you'd like and just focus on that thigh mastering of the elbows behind the back. Heart lifting, shoulders broad. Thighs gently pressing forward, tailbone long. You can stay here for the entire time if you'd like or if it might feel nice to take your hands and start to work them down the back of your thighs or maybe even onto your heels or to a couple blocks beside you, you can play with different levels of depth here. But remember the point of this practice is to move with the breath. So if at any point the breath stops flowing because you've gotten too deep into the pose, just back out a little bit. And with your next inhale, let's slowly begin to rise back up gently and gradually and then sit back onto the heels. Let's take just a little seated twist, left hand over to right knee, right hand behind you. Long spine, bottom of the chin parallel to the ground. Deep breaths in and out of the belly. And then just slowly twist over to the other side. Right hand across to left thigh, left hand behind you. And then untwist. And let's just swing around onto our bottoms with the legs out in front of us and lower down onto the back. Let's bring the right knee into the chest. We're going to hold the hands onto the back of the right thigh. You can even clasp the hands around the thigh if that feels okay. And start to take your right foot up to the sky, straightening your right leg. Create just a little bit of pressure of your leg pressing into the hands so that you open up the front of the right hip and elongate the right waist. Left toes are pointing straight up toward the sky. And then if it feels nice, gradually to start to take your hands higher up that right leg, maybe even getting to the point where your peace fingers, your index and middle finger on that right big toe, you can gradually deepen the pose. But try to keep the right side of your waist as long as the left side. The breath spacious and steady. Very slowly release the grab on the leg. Take the arms up overhead. A little bit of core support as you slowly lower that right leg back down to the ground, resisting gravity the whole way. And once that leg is down, left knee comes into the chest, other side, hands clasping the back of the thigh to start, pressing the thigh into the hands as you straighten the leg, take the left heel toward the ceiling, create that extra space in the front of the left hip. And 
And then allow the breath to guide you deeper into the pose here. As long as you have space in the breath and you feel like you can take it deeper, gradually take the hands up the leg closer and closer to the foot. When you're ready to release, once again, we'll disconnect any support of the hands on the leg. We'll take the arms up overhead, firming your belly button down toward the ground. And resist gravity as you lower that left leg down toward the floor. Take your time. And once it's down, Take a nice long stretch, heels through fingertips. And then slowly let your arms come down by your sides and we'll settle into Shavasana. Taking any shape for your Shavasana today, especially in the legs, that allows you to create some space in the body and, and rest easy. So maybe a diamond shape in the legs or maybe traditional Shavasana and spend as much time here as you are able to today. I hope you enjoyed your practice. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste.